that he was offering Devon guaranteed prize money $20,000 and he did not accept to pull Evgeny Prudnik. He also kind of revealed how much Devon was getting paid to arm wrestle Levan at King of the Table 4 and that prize was about till that day Engin's ranking system is totally fair it is totally unbiased and it is extremely simple excluding Russians never really made any sense the ranking that Engin Terzi is doing right now no disrespect to anyone but it can be done by a six year old Engin Terzi versus Devon Larratt. The rules debate explained in 10 minutes. Yes, these two are back at it once again and this time the topic of debate or discussion is world arm wrestling rankings. I will try to explain everything to you in such a way that even if you have not watched any of these 6 videos that they have uploaded or you are a complete beginner in arm wrestling, you are still going to understand everything by the end of this video and in fact if you end up liking the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so this is how it started Engin Terzi uploaded his world top 10 rankings on his Facebook page and also on his YouTube page but for some reason he deleted those videos and those posts but nothing gets deleted on internet so Engin's ranking was number one Levan Sagnashvili number two Jerry number three Gennady Artem Morozov, Dave Chafee, Alex Kurdecha, Hermes Gasparini, Revaz Lutidze, Michael Todd, and then Evgeny Prudnik. Demolet did not like this video. This is what I'm guessing because he uploaded a video called World Rankings. He did not rank the top 10 guys himself, but he tried to show us what are the faults in Engin Terzi's ranking system. I don't know what is happening with the color of the shirt, but let's go. So I'll try to explain word by word what these two guys said in brief not in detail so I will simultaneously give my takes on what these guys said so it will make the video interesting and it will shorten the duration I guess so Devon Led said in his first video that bias versus non-bias he said that ELO system should be adopted or can be adopted because there is bias if humans are involved there is nothing to disagree with this human beings can be biased or are always biased it is almost impossible but for some reason Engin Terzi system is totally totally unbiased and Devon said that he doesn't care about being on the rankings himself he just wants to discuss this topic which I do not believe because every time rankings get up get updated Devon almost always makes a video <laughs> about rankings so I think the, that he he does care about the rankings and Devon by the way is not included in Engin's ranking and also X sport ranking which I'll also show on the screen if you want to watch and then Devon talked about Russians competing at the AMC tournament he said that those guys were being paid more than Engin Terzi's East versus West event and world rankings should be determined by whichever organization is paying the most and I don't necessarily think that it is true because the prize money there was about $10,000 for overalls and $5,000 for super heavyweight so that prize money was only for one guy you had to beat everyone in the tournament to win that and also you had to cover your own expenses it was not guaranteed prize money east versus west or king of the table offer guaranteed prize money and he talked about jerry cadret potentially being able to do very well in the top 10 rankings because of his style against top rollers and most of the guys are top rollers in top 10 in the world but there are many guys in north america who can beat jerry cadret so Maybe Jerry's position was not justified according to Devon, which I also kind of agree. Just one big out of top 10 and you're number two in the world makes uh, little sense to me. And then he talked about his own arm wrestling and one year inactivity. Devon said that there should be one year time period for deciding someone that he's inactive, for declaring that he's inactive. And this is what most sports have in their rule set before deciding inactivity this is what Devon was saying I'm not sure what other sports say but one year is too much which, which Engin was also saying maybe maybe it could be six months then Devon said I arm wrestle every day and what about Levan's inactivity because Levan cannot get enough matches so which clearly points out a fault and the ex sport guys were also saying that they cannot adopt a point based system because the top guy will not be getting matches and the guys who are below will 
gather up as many points as they want because they have enough matches so this is the problem why they are not doing the the point based ranking system so maybe maybe there can be an exception for the number one guy and and a smaller amount of exception for the top five guys maybe we can figure out something like that then Engin uploaded two videos in response to Devon's video back to back so same thing one year is way too long for inactivity then he said that Levan wants to pull but Devon doesn't want to pull this is the difference between inactivity I don't think it, re it, it really makes much sense because these are just words if someone says something you you cannot base your rankings because of that Prudnik himself said that he cannot beat Hermes Gasparini so what if Prudnik beats the guys who beat Hermes Gasparini who are ranked ahead of him then are you going to take his words that he said I cannot beat him so these are words words can quickly change what if king of the table offers uh, Devon a lot of prize or what if Engin offers him a lot of prize to pull and he changes his mind so how did you how would you get him back in the rankings this is my point and then Engin talked about the Chechnya event exactly the same thing it was a mistake from Devon's part I think he did not do his research or did not think it thoroughly because ten thousand dollar five thousand dollar and everything the travel you have to pay you have to bear on your own expenses food accommodation everything and when prize money was for only one guy and Engin said that he was offering Devon guaranteed prize money twenty thousand dollars and he did not accept to pull Evgeny Prudnik at a 110 kg weight cap he also kind of revealed how much Devon was getting paid to Amrasal Levan at King of the Table 4 and that price was about 44 45,000 in my opinion because Engin said that it was more than twice of what Engin was offering so 20 into 2 40 more than 40 so I would say 44 or 45,000 and yes so the 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 argument doesn't hold that why why the Russians were included excluded from Engin's ranking and Engin said that he has been doing ranking for more than 10 years now and I think much more than that and he was the one who included Devon Lett in that world ranking on that number one spot and Devon himself said that Engin is the most no knowledgeable person in arm wrestling so what is the problem now since Devon was saying that how can Jerry be ranked above Dave because Dave always beats him so Engin replied that by that logic Taras Ivakin should also be ranked above you because he also beat you in 2006 so which is also a good point this shows that Engin's total concentration or number one point is the most recent result this is what Engin always looks for and when he explained his ranking system it is one of the simplest ranking systems in the world I think I do not like this ranking system but I do believe that it is totally impossible to do rankings Engin Terzi is the only one who can do rankings not by doing the rankings himself but because he is giving us so much valuable super matches that we, we are totally blessed maybe we can figure out rankings really well in one or two years from now but till that day Engin's ranking system is totally fair it is totally unbiased and it is extremely simple you already have Engin's 10, 10 top 10 guys which he made one two three years ago I don't know how many years ago and since then whenever you beat someone who is ranked at any position in that top 10 let's say you beat a guy who is at number six no matter where you were you may be at number 600 before that but if you beat a guy number six you take his spot and below that everyone shifts one position down so it is very simple and there is no bias involved in that Devon was saying if a human is doing rankings then it will be biased there is no bias in this in that it is simply based on one simple rule and towards the end when people were saying how can Jerry be above Dave or how can Gennady be above Dave they were asking questions and Engin was saying that do not try to teach me what have you done with your your knowledge in arm wrestling so this is what Engin was saying which was totally uncalled for because the ranking that Engin Terzi is doing right now no disrespect to anyone but it can be done by a six year old anybody can do that even if, if a guy who has never heard a thing about sports that guy can do this ranking system because you already have that top 10 yes there was some effort when Engin first decided that top 10 but since then it is simple math whenever somebody beats someone you you give him his spot and move everyone down one spot so I don't think it takes much experience 
to do this ranking system so let's let's move on to devon's second video this second video from devon was not much about logic he was basically trying to roast tang in terzi unnecessarily and devon was saying that russians are being invited to dubai so they should be included in the rankings but they were not invited in dubai for king of the table 4 at that time because they 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 couldn't travel and this is what engin also pointed out in his video so another mistake unchecked fact from devon's part and devon said that elo system point based system is working in australia it has been working in russia for many years it has been it was working in wl as well so it can be done and he did say that he didn't reject devon's offer he just didn't answer it so there is a difference and he said engin should do yoga and maybe one day he will compete in east versus west then engin uploaded a third video he explained why russians were not allowed and devon didn't want to compete even though he offered 20000 and maybe devon is lying misleading when he's saying that he just didn't answer then engin showed a video where devon said that i thought it was obvious to engin that i'm not going to probably i'm not going to compete because i'm going to take some rest and some people are saying that engin that that devon needs time to recover De- devon was back on the table one week after that injury against levan that bicep injury and engin offered him a match 6 months 7 months later 7 months should be enough time to heal that sort of, sort of injury in my opinion so after that i asked engin one question about about the rankings and and let's see what engin had to say about that but the most recent rankings you uploaded was after the announcement of dave versus vitali why didn't you include vitali then because vitali was ranked number 2 before that i think maybe waiting for the actual match and not just announcement so engin replied why would i include someone before they pull someone from top 10 and beat him this is where the problem starts to me excluding russians never really made any sense absolutely no sense why i'll tell you why because if you are beating someone who is ranked let's say number 2 number 3 in the world and you beat him in your own country why does it matter where you beat him you clearly beat him if your system says that he, that person should take vitali's position so that person should take vitali's position why would it matter if they can go outside of their country or not when devon and michael were arm wrestling each other in wl or let's say dave chafee and and michael were arm wrestling in wl in usa within their own country i'm quite sure engin must have been changing his rankings based off of those results it is it is quite clear if the two turkish arm wrestlers who are number 9 and number 10 in the world they're not traveling outside but they compete against each other and the number 10 guy beats the number 9 guy so is engin not going to change the world rankings just because they cannot travel internationally i absolutely do not get this at all maybe you guys can maybe you guys can explain it to me how does it matter if if you are number 8 if you are number 10 15 doesn't matter if you beat a number 8 guy why would you not be ranked at his position why do you need to travel outside your own country to prove that this is my problem then engin said that if you are out you pull win and rank another huge huge flaw in that ranking system that engin terzi is doing if you are out then you pull win and rank vitali lalitin is out when did the federation announce that russians are banned it was in march march april may june july 5 months august it was in early august second or third august it was already announced that they will be competing at king of the table so 5 months less than 5 months probably somebody didn't arm wrestle for 5 months and they are completely out and they have to climb the ladder once again to get their, get to their previous spot it is just 5 months man how can you do that so at least engin should have specified what is the time frame he was saying which i totally agree with one year is way too long what is the time frame now devon is with with similar logic devon is also out because of inactivity what if devon says tomorrow that i'm going to compete at east versus west so with engin's logic he should not just reverse his world rankings once again he should tell devon according to this comment that you are out you pull you win and then you rank so just because devon said that he is not going to compete and later on he changed his mind then in engin's ranking he would have to climb the ra- rankings the ladder once again so this is another flaw which i think should be worked out so doing world rankings guys it is an impossible task 
nobody literally nobody can do the world rankings i'll tell you why levan sagnashvili everybody believes number 1 rightly so dimitri slav number 2 in 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 the rankings of uh, of export news who did he beat vitali lalitin okay got it Num- one guy vitali lalitin who did he beat in the top 10 did he beat levan did he beat dimitri did he beat ermes no did he beat jerry no gnadi no prudnik yes morozov no dev chefi no kordecha no devan no revas no michael no jo- grigori lyachuk no arif artem no so you get it vitali beat only one guy same thing with ermes gasprini i don't think ermes has beaten any of the top 8 except for one gennady kukinia yes gennady beat who dev chefi only one guy evgeny prudnik has not defeated anyone except artem morozov so when we have more matches in next few years then things are going to get resolved more then we will see yes that circle gennady beat dev let's start with alex beating ermes ermes beating gennady gennady beating dev then dev beating alex so this circle confuses everything when we actually have more matches to draw comparisons from then we can figure out that yes dev loses to gennady but he beats five other people who gennady loses to so maybe we should rank dev above gennady maybe we can figure out a rule or something like that but till then it is almost almost impossible and all of the ranking systems i'm not saying i can build a system which will be flawless but every ranking system till then is completely flawed not completely but partially flawed at least at some point we are going to have to need to look at how many guys you beat yes you have defeated the guy who was ranked number 2 but how many other guys have you beaten in that top 10 range the other guy beat six of them you have not beaten any of them or maybe you have lost to all six of them so these things may have to be considered in the future otherwise with this system that engine is following world rankings will keep on changing every week or every month which is no ranking in my opinion if they can keep on changing every week thank you it was a long video subscribe to the channel old school labs please purchase your supplements if you need them from old school labs thank you very much bye bye